So you want to be that girl? So hi guys, it's Mariana Cavasso and in today's video I'm going to be talking about creating routines. So this is something that I've kind of been not struggling with. I feel like I have a really good established routine but there's just some days when I just don't have like the energy to like do like a 30 minute workout in the morning and some days like I just want to have like a routine that I can do for when I'm not feeling as energetic and productive. So I was inspired by a TikTok which I will put on the screen. So I did have to mute this video just because she did play copyright music but she basically said that she was inspired to create this routine by her therapist basically so she would have a routine even when she was stressed or anxious or tired which talked about creating high mid and low energy routines and i was like oh my goodness that is genius because literally it's basically creating a routine for every scenario it's creating a routine for when you wake up super energized and super pumped and ready to like start the day it's creating a routine from when you're like you're kind of in the middle not really sure if you want to be super energetic but you're also not tired and then it's also creating a routine for when you're genuinely tired and you do not feel like doing much in the morning and those are all okay states of mind because i feel like a lot of routine videos on youtube seeing people on social media kind of push this idea that you have to be productive every single morning you have to do this and this and this and this for you to like have like that aesthetic productive morning routine which personally i just don't think that's sustainable because some days i wake up and i'm like i don't feel like doing anything and and so I feel like it's important to create routines for yourself and your body even when you're not feeling like being extra. And I feel like creating all of these highly, you know, personal routines allows you to customize them and figure out what you like, what you don't like. So the first thing in creating these high, mid, and low energy routines is establishing what you want to do first. Not what you think you're supposed to be doing in the morning, but what you want to do. So personally, I see a lot of people working out in the morning and I've even showed in some of my videos that I do work out in the morning but the more that I've done it the more I realize that it's just not sustainable for me because I don't like working out in the morning because then I have to shower and then I have to go to bed dirty I don't know if that makes sense because like if you shower in the morning then you go about your day you know you go to school you do this and this and this then it's like you need to shower when you get back right but two showers a day to me just seems excessive when you can just shower at night so I've created my routines in a way that I have a very productive morning routine on my high energy days but I'm also not working out in the morning because I realize that I don't want to take a shower in the morning <laughs> I like taking my showers at night I feel clean I like to get in I like to have a clean body getting into a clean bed so that's why I just stopped working out in the morning I do do yoga in the mornings sometimes which I will explain to you guys my routine in just a second like establishing what you like to do and what is sustainable for you like if you know that even on the days when you're feeling super productive you do not have time to be fitting in a workout and a shower and you know all the stuff that comes with it then don't do it if it's gonna cause you a headache to be able to reach this like healthy lifestyle no you have to find what works for you what is sustainable for you in your lifestyle because everybody's life everybody's day looks different some of us have more or less responsibilities than others maybe you have a job that requires you to be there at seven it might be kind of hard for you to you know work out and do everything before or seven o'clock in the morning when you're supposed to be at work you know so finding what works for you and what you can actually do every single day is important in creating these routines so once you've established that then you're just going to kind of go and as you move down the list so you're going to start with your high energy routine and then you're going to move down the list to your mid and your low so once you've established what you want to do in like your most productive state then you're just going to kind of start removing things that you know yourself that you sometimes skip when you're in a rush or when you're tired so for instance i will share with you guys my routine so i have created a high mid and low energy morning routine and a high mid and low energy night routine as you can see the high energy list is a lot longer than the mid and the low same thing with the night routine it's a lot longer and it's a lot more things that i plan on doing in those routines so for instance 
from my high to mid energy routine, I have changed that I do not do yoga in my mid energy routine. It's just not something that I feel like doing. And in my low energy routine, I do not journal in my low energy routine because if I'm feeling tired, I don't really feel like writing my feelings on a piece of paper. <laughs> and then I've kind of established like a midday general day, how my day looks like with school. So usually my midday would look like school, study, eat, film, plan, edit, work out, shower, and then sleep. This is like very, very broad because I, I usually have my middays pretty open. I feel like from like after I finish class at 11, I usually don't have much to do until like six o'clock. So that's a lot of time. That's seven hours in the day. And that's when I get the bulk of like my filming and my editing and all of that stuff, my studying and any random stuff that I need to do, I usually get it done in the midday. And then when it comes to nighttime, this is like my rewind, relax time. So in my high energy, Energy routine I have that I'll do wind down yoga and I'll drink tea and then I'll read and then I'll journal before I sleep but when I'm feeling really really tired like coming home from a really long day or from a sports practice or just from school sometimes all I want to do is wash my face moisturize brush my teeth do my devotional and prayer and head to bed okay like sometimes I'm so tired I do not feel the energy to you know journal or read for 30 minutes to an hour before bed so that is what I'm kind of establishing. And when you're creating routines, I'm stressing this so much in this video, but it is so important to look at what is sustainable for you. Just because like other people are doing it does not mean that you need to be doing it as well. For instance, I know that a lot of people in their morning routines say that they don't go on their phones for like an hour. And this is something that I'm trying to do, but I like waking, being on my phone after I get up really helps wake me up and help prevents me from falling back asleep after I like my alarm wakes up. So the light kind of like opens up my eyes and just gets me accustomed to being awake. <laughs> and it also gives me just some time to relax and chill in bed because I this is something that I personally do that I don't see a lot of people doing I don't know whether I've talked about this in my routine videos but I'm going to talk about it now I personally wake up like about 15 to 30 minutes before I actually need to get out of bed so that I give myself time to do be on my phone or just literally relax in bed and stare at my ceiling because I I know like if I need to get up at six o'clock I'm set my alarm for like 5 45 or 5 30 even though it gives me technically less sleep I feel way more ready to get up at six if I wake up before six. I don't know if this is just me, but it's a personal preference and I've learned it by, you know, altering my routines, figuring out what I like, figuring out what I don't like, things like that. I've also realized that I don't really like to eat a heavy breakfast. I know a lot of people like put pressure and emphasis on eating a healthy breakfast and making sure that you eat a lot of food in the morning, which is just not personally something for me. I don't like to be excessively full when I'm starting my day. Personally, I like either a tea or coffee and some toast, maybe French toast, maybe an omelet if I'm feeling fancy. Occasionally I'll do like pancakes or smoothie or smoothie bowl, but I don't really like like heavy, heavy, heavy foods in breakfast like some morning routines I've seen stress about. So again, finding what works for you and fine tuning it to your life. Before you kind of establish a routine as your routine, you need to actually be like doing it. <laughs> So I am so guilty of this because when I've made some of my morning routine videos, I was definitely playing around with my routines at that time and I was not fully established in my routine. I was just kind of sharing what I was doing at the moment. But like my morning routine from like January is so different from what I'm doing now in the mornings. And it's okay because I'm changing. I'm changing things up to fit my life and to fit my schedule and to make me happy and fulfilled. Like there's really no point in creating a routine that you, your you yourself feel like is a a chore to fulfill and to do so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you leave a like and comment down below and subscribe we're on a road to 500 subscribers i'm literally like oh my goodness we're about to reach 500 subscribers wow but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is the first video in becoming that girl so i hope you guys enjoyed and be on the lookout for the next video it will be next wednesday's video so not friday's video but next wednesday's video is going to be the next video in the series okay bye guys